Good afternoon, my name is Timo and today I'm going to show you the best way to fill an aerometric fountain pen like this Parker 51 clone, the Hero 616. Usually, well, an aerometric fountain pen is a fountain pen with a section and a sack attached to, to it. And the usual way to fill this kind of fountain pen is putting this metal tube over the sack just where it belongs. This metal tube has a pressure bar. If you push the pressure bar, the sack will get compressed. If you release it, the sack decompresses and sucks up ink. So usually you put this section of the pen into the ink well, you press the pressure bar, um, let go of it, ink will get sucked in. You repeat this a couple of times until the sack is almost completely full. In my experience, it's almost impossible to fill the pan completely with this method and it takes quite some time. Uh, the pressure bar doesn't compress the sack completely, it doesn't cover it uh, completely and so there will always be an air bubble up there which is not what we want. So a better method would be just to get rid of this metal uh, tube uh, to put the section to the inkwell to uh, press the sack, let go, press, let go, press, let go, two or three times and usually by then the sack is pretty much full with ink. However, there are two disadvantages. Uh, disadvantage number one is if you put uh, if you put the section, I have a dry mouth today, sorry, if you put the section into an inkwell, it usually uh, gets some, some ink on the section, of course. So, <clears throat> when you pull out the pen, there are two ways you can do this. You might grab the pen at the sack that is clean on the outside, but you will compress it and therefore you will lose a couple of drops of ink. Or you might just grab the section itself and then you will get ink on your fingers, which is probably not what you want to do. All right. So... What then is the perfect method? The perfect way to fill an aromatic pan would be to compress the sack without even touching it. And it would be perfect to just let the barrel on the section because then you could just grab the barrel uh, if you want to, to wipe off the ink without risking um, compressing the sack again. And with sheer mind power like a Jedi, this is possible. You can force the sack to compress. Um, okay, it's not mind power, it's actually something else. We all, all of you, have a compressing device that attaches perfectly to this fountain pen. Let me explain. There's the sack, there's the barrel. If you put the barrel on the sack, there's air between the sack and the barrel. If you screw, the air will get uh, compressed and uh, ink will get pushed out. To prevent this, there's a hole at the end of this barrel. Which means we can compress the sack very easily uh, without touching it because uh, there's no way air can escape from anywhere else than from this hole. So if instead we push air inside this hole, and that's why I said you all have a compressor, you can all blow and suck, um, you, can, you can, can compress your sack and release it and suck up in. So <clears throat> the best way to fill this is to take your inkwell, to put the section inside, leave the barrel on, make sure there's no uh, metal bar, it still would work with a metal, metal bar in it, but it's kind of, it's easier this way. And then blow, and by blowing you compress the sack. And then, no, yeah, that's pretty much it. If, if you let go, um, ink will uh, get sucked in, into the sack. That's pretty much it. What you can do uh, if you want to get more ink in there, or if you, you want to do this faster or more securely, is you can blow and suck and blow and suck and blow and suck. <clears throat> you know what you mean. I mean we, we all have the possibilities within our bodies. We are perfect little suckers. Uh, mm, mm. 
do that a couple of times and the sack will be completely full. And that's pretty much the best method to fill an aromatic fountain pen. In case you do have a fountain pen that doesn't taste as well, I mean this this uh, this uh, actually this Hero 616 isn't so bad. Mm. It's not bad at all. Mm. However, if you um, have a fountain pen that that doesn't taste that well, uh, another uh, version of this would be to to just do it like this. I understand that doing that in public might be uh, to some of you a little bit of embarrassing, but I can guarantee you it's a great way to meet new people, um, interesting people. Um, <clears throat> but I understand if you don't want to do this in public. However, when you're at home, all alone, you can use this method um, not only to, to fill up your fountain pen, you can also use it to clean your fountain pen. It goes much farther than any other method. Um, you know, uh, there's always a little bit of ink left in the sack and, and sometimes you want to, to um, just clean your sack completely and you take a glass of water, um, first you clean, clean the pen a little bit, then you put the section to a glass of clear water, um, blow suck, blow suck, and every time, every time you blow, um, you ejaculate a little bit of the ink that's still in the sack. And after a while, the sack will be completely empty and clean. That's it. Have fun trying that. And um, keep on sucking. Bye-bye.